how to add more indicators on TradingView for free. That's today's video, so let's dive into it. So on the one day, one minute chart for Tesla, I have six indicators in total. The SMA line, EMA line, VWAP lines, the volume, the RSI, and the MACD. Here you can see if I click on settings, I've added the option to switch them on and off. So essentially, I've combined three indicators into one. So that's why I'm not over the three tier limit. So how do we do this? Well, we use something called the Pine Editor, basically where you can scrape your indicators from scratch. So if we go to Open and then New Blank Indicator, and you just start coding. But you may ask, how? How do I start coding my own indicators? Well, you don't. You open a new window and you basically look at what other people have built. So again, click on the Pine Editor, but this time you open default built-in script. Here, you can type in the indicator that you wanted to add to your chart. For example, the VWAP. And you can see this is the code that you can copy and adapt it for your own use when you put it into your own script, just like this. And so you can also use the public library in the indicators tab. So if we go back to this tab and click on the indicators, again, you can type in VWAP and you can see under the public library, there are tons of different versions of the VWAP uh, indicator, which you can click on this source code. And again, you can see what other people have done and you can adapt that code for your own purpose. Okay, so here is an example of the one which I have done. I have three indicators in this script. The simple moving average. This is a really nice indicator for swing trading. I also have the exponential moving average. Again, really useful for swing trading. And finally, I have adapted code for the VWAP indicator, which is good for intraday trading. Okay, so after you've added all the indicators you want, all you need to do is click add to chart and it will show up on your chart. So for example, if I remove this, I've coded my indicators and then I click add to chart. There it is. And all the settings that you've included can now be adjusted here. For example, what source you use to calculate each of these lines and also the length which we are using. And for future use, you want to save your indicator and then you can open it in my script. As you can see here, I've got MA, EMA, VWAP. This is my script name. And that's pretty much it. So in summary, you can add pretty much as many indicators to the chart as you want. And you do this by wrapping it all in a single script and you're adding it to your chart as a single indicator. So you don't exceed the limit and you use built-in script functions or the public library code to get you started and then adapt it to fit into your own script. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it helps. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below.